Alright guys, hi, uh, how are you guys doing? So I just want to share with you my recent sojourn to get myself a pair of uh, running shoes uh, for some light running and uh, some uh, light exercise. Uh, well, uh, initially I took a walk to the Adidas as well as the Puma shops. But uh, my what, what was in my mind was to be honest with you, I wanted uh, uh, laceless shoes, you know, the slip-on types because it's very easy, quick. You just slip them on and then you can, you're can you off on your way to uh, do whatever activity you want to do. And considering that for most of us, average Joes, uh, exercising is such a tedious thing. So a shoe that uh, is easy to put on is always a blessing. So I hope the uh, corporate heads, uh, if they ever accidentally come across this video uh, will take note of that however the salespeople at the shops back to differ they said that uh, actually they didn't say much they just said that we don't have uh, uh, such shoes now anymore it was a recent uh, or a, a trend that was uh, that has, has gone by already so um, the the puma shoes that i used before for um, it was supposed to be tennis shoes, but uh, since I just uh, since it's kind of a gift to me, you know, I just used it for whatever, and uh, that that was a goner. So um, I thought I'll get something a bit more dedicated to uh, the activity that I wanted to do. But this lace thing was a issue. So for people who uh, who are not so motivated to exercise, I hope the sneaker companies will consider uh, th that convenience. Uh, uh, besides feedback from more professional athletes who demand a lease. Now, after going through a few of the shops, uh, uh, when I went to Nike, uh, one one lady there was, you know, uh, oh, you are on the lady's side, the gen side is on that side. And she sort of just, you know, told me this is this, 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 and just was sort of gone on her way uh, until I found this nerdy looking kid with some dyed hair who seem to have some interest in uh, the shoes uh, and just started chatting to me. So I think uh, tips for salespeople, please have some interest and passion in the thing that you're selling. It helps a lot and it allows you to just chat casually with the customer without forcing them to buy, just share knowledge about the product and the customer really appreciates that. And I think if it was not for the kid, I, I most probably might not even have bought um, this uh, pair of shoes. So I was chatting with him and I said that, you know, I, I would love a, a laceless shoe. And he said, well, uh, the runners who give feedback say that uh, lacing gives some tightness and some form and it's required when really running, running hard, running fast. Maybe for casual walking, slip on is okay. Therefore, uh, based on the customer feedback, we made our shoes with lace. So this is what they claim uh, and they are focused on athletes. Um, but even streetwear shoes, a lot of them are uh, with laces, so I don't know what's up with that, right? Uh, but anyway, uh, I thought uh, since I do see myself doing exercise uh, more often nowadays, uh, it's worth it to go through the trouble of lacing up my shoes. So I said, okay, fine, uh, let me have a look at what you have. Of course, there's one extreme of all these uh, expensive collector's edition shoes. Now the speculators have made buying a nice looking sport shoe such a chore i still remember years ago when i bought a nike air uh, basketball shoe you know it, it was moderately high price but uh, uh, it wasn't so expensive but uh, i agree <laughs> but there were people who wanted to just buy it from me and pay good price second hand for that uh, model sneaker years ago so um, I, I don't know what to say i guess speculators will be there in any field uh, but uh, while catering to them with, with the weird, you know, collaborations and whatnot, some normal shoes also will come our way, which are user-friendly, robust, and a workhorse. And this Nike Pegasus is just uh, claimed to be one such workhorse, uh, maybe just like a Toyota or a Ford in a car industry, uh, something that is not too expensive and will just get the job done and uh, moderately priced. So uh, I got this. This is uh, Pegasus 38. 37, the boy told me uh, the tongue is a bit thinner. The lace loops are less sturdy. All right. So uh, he, he said this is uh, better, although it's about $25 more expensive than the previous uh, 37, which they were giving at a bit of a discount. 
but after comparing the two, I thought, okay, what the heck? I just uh, took this for uh, $125, and I usually prefer buying things uh, after physically trying them rather than buying them online, uh, compared to some people who prefer online. Uh, I guess it's it's it's. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, to me, if possible, better just really feel, touch the product, and then buy it, right? Uh, except maybe things like books, I guess, you know. So, um, but yeah, I agree. Now with all this technology and all that, online might be the uh, way to go in the future, uh, but uh, or a hybrid model, right? So, uh, uh, each person's preference. So, what else about uh, these uh, Nike Air Pegasus? The weight is about uh, ten to eleven ounces. Not a big deal. I'm not like a professional athlete, so I don't mind that. Uh, I, I did see another uh, cool looking like purplish kind of a shoe uh, which the salesman said was a Nike uh, Super Rap 2 I believe uh, I, I thought of getting that too but that was quite uh, how to say the, the soles the, 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 not the soles the, the bottom part of it can't remember the name the bottom part of it was a bit too rigid and I think it would have performed very poorly as a running shoe so um, yeah so it has to be a really those ancient days those sneakers were very multifaceted you know you just get one you can literally do anything with it but nowadays they're so specialized that uh, you know so although i like the look of the the particular uh, super app gym shoe uh, well i had to go for function so that was out of the picture and as i said the the other brand the shop uh, the sales people didn't seem to really know what what's going on they just like you know point to male and female shoes and then that's about it so that's another big reason why uh, i ended up with this particular brand compared to well, maybe essex or puma or whatever else so um uh, what are the initial impressions i have on this um um, let me see in terms of color and design I, I see that the Pegasus 38 mostly based on black color you know, right? uh, black with a mixture of you know just one black white and purplish I think just one fully black total black okay and then um, there is one uh, that is uh, this, this is another one of course uh, with some lime green black and a bit of a light gray uh, coloring anyway uh, I'm not so, uh, what do you call it, uh, anal about the colors. Uh, mostly this is for my workout. This is my initial impression. So once I do some runs and use it for daily uh, jogging and whatnot, I will give you guys the update. But uh, upon walking, wearing and walking this shoe, uh, they, gi they give you some kind of a disposable stocking right, to check it out. And then after walking a short distance, I found that uh, it was quite comfortable and I had a feeling that uh, I, I would be motivated and quite enjoy my uh, light jogging and uh, treadmill. I do a fair bunch of treadmill work as well. So uh, I believe that uh, this will motivate me more. So these are my, how to say, uh, sharing of my experience getting these shoes my initial impressions of them and uh, I hope that uh, uh, I'll be able to give you a more in-depth discussion of these shoes after uh, running with them for a while. So that's it guys, uh, my initial impression of the Nike Air Pegasus. In terms of looks, I think it's a 2.5 out of 5, maybe even slightly less, but in terms of comfort, I'll give it a 3.5 out of 5 based on my initial um, few meters walk all right, at the shop with this. Uh, later I'll give you more detail and uh, also how robust it is, whether it can withstand all kind of uh, terrain and whatnot. I will uh, update you guys as we go along. So uh, best of luck guys in your own search for your uh, sport shoes. With that, goodbye. Take care. See you in my next video.
Thank <laughs> you. 